Hey there, little adventurers! Welcome to our channel, where imagination takes flight and every day is a brand new adventure. This story about the day Alara forgot to dream. Let's go! The night Alara forgot to dream, the savannah held its breath. The baobab trees stood silent, their usual luminous blooms dimmed to mere shadows. Even the fireflies, Alara's tiny lantern bearers, cast only the faintest flicker. For the first time in anyone's memory, the elephant with the stardust kissed trunk couldn't paint the night sky with wonder. Ziva, Alara's zebra friend, trotted anxiously at her side. Alara, she whispered, her voice barely a chirp. Where are the stars tonight? Where are the stories you paint with your trunk? Alara's great ears drooped. Usually, her imagination overflowed with constellations and tales woven from moonlight. But tonight, it was as barren as a sun-baked riverbed. I, I don't know, Ziva, she mumbled, shame tinging her trunk. The dreams seemed far away. Ziva, ever the optimist, nudged her side. Maybe they're playing hide-and-seek again, like the moon did. Elara's trunk quivered with a sigh. But how do we find them, Ziva? How do we bring back the light? As they wandered through the hushed savanna, they encountered a family of owls, their wise eyes blinking in the darkness. Perhaps, who did the eldest owl? The dreams have flown to where even stardust cannot reach. To a place called Worrywood, where fear steals the colors from the night. Ziva gasped, Worrywood, but that's just a story. The owl hooted softly, all stories hold a grain of truth, little one. And tonight, it seems, Worrywood has crept into Alara's heart. Alara, her trunk heavy with doubt, looked at Ziva. What if they're right? What if my worry stole my dreams? Ziva, always brave as a lion, despite her stripes, smiled. Then we'll chase them back. Come on, Alara. Worrywood can't stand against friendship and stardust, can it? And so, with Ziva leading the way, and a sprinkle of stardust for bravery, they ventured into the whispering shadows of Worrywood. They tiptoed past prickly doubts and dodged thorny anxieties. Ziva's hooves light and Alara's trunk rumbling with newfound determination. Finally, they reached the heart of the grove, where a gnarled tree, twisted by worry, held captive a cage of shimmering lights. Inside, trapped like fireflies in a jar, were Alara's dreams. Don't be scared, Alara, Ziva whispered, her stripes blending with the shadows. Remember, you have stardust, you have me. Taking a deep breath, Alara raised her trunk and dipped it into the stardust, well hidden within her heart. With a gentle blow, she showered the cage with shimmering magic. The gnarled tree trembled, its worries unraveling like cobwebs. And the cage burst open, releasing the dreams in a dazzling cascade of lights. The moment the dreams escaped, Worrywood began to fade, its shadows melting away under the stardust rain. Alara felt her imagination bloom again, bursting with constellations and whimsical stories. And as the first rays of dawn painted the sky, the savannah awoke to a spectacle of luminous blooms and tails, woven into the leaves, brighter and more beautiful than ever before. From that day on, Alara never forgot how worry could dim her dreams. But she also remembered that with a little stardust, a lot of courage, and a friend by her side, even the darkest night could be painted with the wonder of imagination. Share your stardust dreams in the comments below, and remember to subscribe for more magical stories.